Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Prism Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode, we made our way here to Phloxtown. Well, that was the episode before that, I think. I don't remember, it's been a little bit. But we explored this lab in Phloxtown, which is overrun by a whole bunch of scientists. And they've got some bad stuff going on in here. And unfortunately for us, at the very end of this lab, there are only two trainers left, because the third from last trainer, unfortunately, killed our, um, our Flygon Munch. And we had to replace her, and as you see there, yes, Sweet Baby, the Chingling we added last episode, did evolve into Chimeco, which is really cool. Chimeco is easily one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I've always wanted to use one in a playthrough, and I suppose this will work. And it's a sound type in this game, which is pretty interesting. Psychic and sound, which is, you know, cool. You can see that she is holding the megaphone item, which I bought by using two gold tokens in Spurge City, I believe it was. Which is pretty sweet. It's a cool little item. And I thought that would be awesome to buy for Sweet Baby. We also have a Twisted Spoon, but I thought the megaphone was cooler. So we went ahead and got that. It powers up sound type attacks, if I didn't say that. But Sweet Baby has Hyper Voice, Icy Wind, Shadow Ball, and Psychic, which is a pretty good moveset if you ask me. And you can see everybody on the team is level 53. The level limit for the 8th gym is 54. I don't have a set in stone limit, but that's what the highest level is. So we're good to straight up go to the gym after we clear this laboratory out, which is pretty cool. So, I don't think anybody else changed in their movesets. Let's just go over them really quick. Denim's the same. Same with Turret. Clap, clap, Ropia, and Froggy are all the same. I don't know if... Yeah, I had Bug Buzz. That's right. All right. Yeah, that'll work. So this is the team. And I say we can go on up here to the very end where we lost Munch and continue along here. So I also kind of looked at the type chart for sound because obviously it's a new type. I don't know anything about it, really. It's weak to normal fighting... Electric and Tri type, I believe. But it's super effective on some cool things, like uh, it's super effective against Steel. It's super effective against. Honestly, I don't remember, but we'll 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 get there. It's super effective against Psychic, uh, Gas, Ghost. So it could be pretty good. I like that quite a bit. So I believe there's just a couple trainers left. We didn't fight this guy, and then the last guy. This is the guy that killed Munch, which, you know, forget him and his Exeggutor. Ooh, I didn't mean to fight this guy yet. Whatever, I guess it's I guess it's time. Uh, hopefully I remember to turn on battle animations. I've been good with it as of late, but I don't know if I did. And I noticed they spelled filling wrong. Oh, filing, never mind. I, I thought it said filling. Forget me, whatever. Scientist number three has a Weavile. Well, that's just fantastic. That's a great start, right? Yep, here's Sweet Baby's first battle. It's a Weavile. I mean... Sound is super effective against dark. No. I'm actually going to look at the type chart. No, I'm not. I'm not going to pull it up. I don't remember. I, eh, Denim can fight it. I, I mean, yeah, Denim can fight a Weavile. Pursuit would have been bad, but it didn't go for Pursuit. That's fine. And it went for Excisor, which, you know, isn't Stab or anything, but it probably would have done a lot to poor sweet baby there because, you know, it's super effective. Unless Sound resists Bug for some reason, but I don't think it does. But it's going to be pretty interesting calling her Sweet Baby. It's a reference to my one of my favorite episodes of all time, Sweet Baby James, where he loses his Chimeco or leaves it behind. What did they say was coming in? I don't remember. Uh, Slowbro. Okay, that's good. We're good. Uh, I think we're good. All right? Yeah. Yeah, because sound is super effective against Psychic. We're making some progress here. Hyper Voice this thing. We do have battle animations off, but I'll fix that after this. My bad. Training took quite a long time. Training wasn't the bad part, because Chimeco has a fast experience growth rate. But, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Training this thing up into a Chimeco, it has to have 220 happiness. And level up at the night time. It took me so long to get its happiness up. Even with speed up, it was so miserable. But luckily we did it. It wasn't so bad. But, here we go. Sweet baby is level 54, which is pretty sweet. I'd like <laughs> I'd like to use Sweet Baby for this fight up here, but you know, since she's level 54, I'd like to leave it 
I think we're gonna do this with Clap Clap and Turret. Yeah. I believe this is the very end of this place, though, so... This guy must be the boss. I'm pretty concerned. He's checking out something on his computer here. Let's talk to him. Let's do it. I didn't turn on battle animations. I know, I'm a slime. Whatever, forget me. I see you're here. A child cannot fathom all the numerous factors that move this world forward. They don't understand how little one can accomplish by clinging to such weak-minded, petty ideals. When I was young, I believed the improvement of Pokemon came from understanding the individuality. And so I set out to clone Pokemon in order to prove my hypothesis. Unfortunately, after the cloning incident, which created Mewtwo, cloning of Pokemon was banned, and my life's work was stolen from me. I wanted to discover the strength and the individuality of Pokemon. Yet, it was the strength of an individual Pokemon that took away everything I'd built in life. Since then, I've devoted my time into building a medical research com company sworn to the advancement of mapping through the full genetic augmentation of all Pokemon. You may not agree with what I do, but it's men like me that keeps the world moving ever forward, always. Pokemon are simply tools for us. Battle me so you may know the superiority of the genetically altered Pokemon. Alright, here comes the boss of these, this research lab. Scientist number one? I guessed it correctly. Alright, scientist number one. I'm concerned. He's got five Pokemon. That's like crazy. I'm worried. Big time. First up, being a Weezing actually gives me chills. Because an explosion would take our Clap Clap from us. And I really don't want that to happen. Honestly, I just need to go for return. I could charm it, but even then an explosion would do way too much damage to me. I'm just going to go for return. Hopefully it doesn't do it. The sludge bomb's fine. Okay, we're going to go for return again. Hopefully it'll take it out. It didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, man. I just wanted that out of the way because I was so concerned it was going to go for explosion, which is so stupid. I really didn't want to go through that one again. So next up's going to be a slow king, which... Turret can handle that no problem at all. All right, clap, clap. You did enough right there. Come on back for now. I need your help. Let's do this, Turret. All right. So I'm, I'm upset I didn't turn on battle animations. I feel bad about it, but I'll, I'll remember after this, I promise. I haven't forgotten for a really, really long time. Eh, it was going for belly drum. Why would a slow king go for belly drum? That's really silly. Thank you, though, for doing that. I appreciate it. Now I don't have to worry about your slow king whatsoever. What's going to be next? Maybe it didn't have a psychic type attack. Who knows? Magneton. That's fine with me. Alright, Magneton is next up. It's Electric Steel type, and it's level 53. Dang. Alright, hit it with an Earthquake. That's gonna do a lot. It'll kill it down to sturdy, but it's gonna hang on and hit me with Iron Defense. <laughs> His team's so bad. I don't understand. I was expecting this super boss battle, but luckily for us, it's going really well. Alright, what's next? A Porygon Z. Now, that's bad, because I don't remember how this works. I remember Bug was super effective against it, but we don't have a Bug-type attack. I guess I stay in. I don't know how Tri-Attack, or, or I mean Sound Attack works, but I don't think it's super effective against Darf or Poison. So I say we just hit it with our best shot with a Poison Jab. And it's going to do neutral damage, which is pretty good. It's going for that Void Sphere attack, and we still don't get to see a side effect of that, which I'm thankful for, because I don't want to know what it does. I'm guessing it puts me to sleep, but who knows? I, I hadn't looked it up or anything, so I'm not too sure. And a Magnazone is his final Pokemon. So this is a problem because it has the p capabilities, obviously, of killing me from this stage. But I have to hit it with an Earthquake. I know it's going to knock it down to Sturdy. If it kills me with a Flash Cannon, I'm going to be really upset, but it's possible. Thunderbolt. Ooh. Yeah, turret. There you go. Earthquake it. Nice work, turret. You basically steamrolled this guy. That's awesome work. I think Turret deserves one of these. Like oh yeah, Turret, that was good. I was really close. She almost died there. I'm very happy that she pulled it off. All right, what is this? Oh man, I'm scared. Well, well, we meet again, my young friend. Once again, you managed to do the job of the police. I swear, you must be getting some extra information from someone on the inside. Anyways, you've done good work here, kid. Darn good work. Thanks to you, this corporation will pay hefty fines and all those involved will be getting some prison time as well and the pokemon will be rehabilitated and sent back to their original trainers you know you know kid you did break out a saxifrage if you didn't help us out you'd be sent right back but since you've helped out on our investigations i'm giving you a full pardon since this case is closed it's time for me to go back to doing what i enjoy doing at home being the one and only gym leader of spurge city cool 
I'm sure I'll be seeing you real soon for a vi visit. And the next time I see you, you should be prepared for a tough fight. Because I don't just let anyone up to Regen's League to show off my precious badge. That's really cool. I like that little plot twist right there. The police officer, I think, or whoever he's supposed to be, the head of chief or whatever, he, you know, his, he's supposed to be here. That's pretty cool. Maybe he's the president. Because he said he gave me a pardon. I mean, that'd be interesting. The president, president of the Region League. Oh, the Region Re Region? Yeah. President of the Naljo Region. My bad. Yeah, that's really cool. So the first thing we're going to go do is take Froggy for a nice little flight here. All the way to Spurge City. And we can finally, finally let that guy who has been getting stiff standing in front of the gym let us in. I'm excited. But first, I'm going to heal. All right, guys, went ahead, ahead, went ahead and healed up, and it's finally time to go take on the eighth and final gym leader. We just did this in white, too, so it's pretty cool that they're getting pretty close together. I mean, you won't be seeing this for a couple weeks after Marlin, I suppose, but yeah, I'm kind of pre-recording this series a little bit, just because, so I can focus on the main stuff, but yeah, that guy's no longer blocking the entrance, so I say it's time to head inside the eighth and final gym. Is there no gym trainers? There's no gym trainers. It's just him. This music's epic. This is the music on the title screen. This is so cool. I have no idea what type he is. Uh-oh. Does it say? You can't do this to me. Spurge Gym Leader Bruce. Bruce fighting. We already have had a fighting type gym leader. That's tough. I'm thinking. I don't know how to guess it. Like, I'd love to guess a new type. Like, would it be the try type I don't see why that would make sense. If he's like a police officer, that's so hard. I have to make a really good decision here or we could regret this so bad. I went ahead and put turret up front. What could be this gym? I have not a clue. How close is Denim to leveling up? I'm going to use one of my rare candies on Denim. Just because the level limit, like I said, is 54, even though I don't have a limit. I know it's 54. And Denim wants to learn Aqua Jet. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that would be great. I'm actually going to get rid of Body Slam. I have an idea for what this gym might be. I'm taking a wild guess. I've done this before, and it didn't get me very far, but we still did that gym, no problem. Oh, man. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. So let me walk you through my thought process. I know going off of his name isn't obviously the best idea. We already had a fighting type gym leader, so Bruce, Bruce Lee obviously isn't going to work. But what is the closest thing to fighting? Steel. Because arms of steel and your power. That's, that's my guess. It's the best thing I have to go off of here. So I'm going to do this with Sweet Baby and Denim. Because I believe that Sweet Baby's sound type is super effective against steel. From what I saw on the type chart. So, with that being said. It's time to face off against the 8th and final gym leader. Of the Pokemon Prism Wedlock Challenge. And I don't have any idea what type he is. And I'm terrified. I'm going off of a gut feeling and a hunch. And we're about to find out. Let's talk to him. Welcome, trainer. Are you ready to fight for the Naljo badge? The Naljo badge? Interesting. Well, I'm not. Uh-oh. Here's the skinny. I've taken all of your Pokemon. Once you find all of them, come and find me. Then I'll see if you're truly ready. What? That the what? It's always a plot twist. Okay, this is cool. I like this. This is stupid, though. I have to have those HMs. I don't think I have Rock Smash on anybody. Okay. This is cool. What's down this ladder? I like this a lot. What is this? What is this? This says, foo foo foo. Are you, are you stuck, child? My Abra can let you out for a small fee. Uh, I don't want to leave. But that's cool, because it's like what they have in the Pokemon League in Gold, Silver, Crystal. Okay, I like this a lot. What is this? And I need electric? Or is this a button? What's the button do? I'm so confused. What is this guy? Whoa, hold on a sec. You can't battle me unless you have a Pokemon on you. Oh, my God. That's so bad. Oh, my God. What is this? dynamite okay so we can use this dynamite to blow this up so what i'm thinking is we're only going to get one of our pokemon to fight that guy with which is really bad because it, it might be random and i'm scared uh oh i don't know what to expect this is so different i found clap clap okay okay 
I don't know what to think. This is really cool. All right, let's pull this one. Hopefully they come in their pairs, because if not, I'm going to be really upset. Is this switch disabled, it said? Yeah, okay. I should have read that. Oh, let's go up. What's up here? Who's this? Europia. So, that's not good. I need turret. Do I really have to fight this guy with Europia? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm so scared right now. I don't know what to do. I guess we have to go fight that guy. And I can't you. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to do it with Europia because Clap Clap wouldn't be great against Steel if I happen to be right. Or they might be cool trainers. So this is really bad because I have to fight this guy with a lone wolf because of what, the position that I'm in. How you doing, my main man? You may have toasted me back when you were just a newbie, but I think it was just beginner's luck. Oh, this is all of the gym leaders? What? This is so cool, but I'm so scared. But this is good because I'm leading with Europia. This is Josiah. The Messiah, Josiah. Oh, no. I'm packing the heat for real this time. Bet on it. Time for a rematch versus the first gym leader of the Naljo region from Oxla City. It's your boy, Josiah, the fire type gym leader of the Naljo region. Let's do this. And he's got a Charizard this time. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Aropia, you got to do this. I'm so scared. I still didn't throw battle animations. Rock slide. <laughs> Please, not a fighting type. If I see a Blaziken or an Embor or an Infernape, I'm going to be so upset. Macargo. That's great. All right. It's its ace. It's Macargo. Rock fire type level 50. I'm going to rock its world with an earthquake. And that's one dead Macargo. Nice work, Europia. Oh, wow. This is cool. I have a rush going through my body right now. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Yes, you're packing some serious heat, dude. Oh, my gosh. Ah, burned again. This is the coolest thing I have ever seen. All right, I need to heal up right now. Let's use a Sodi Pop on Europia. Okay, I hope I can get the rest of my team, though, because now I know who I'm fighting. Even though it's been a while, I don't remember all these gym leaders. Who's this? It's Froggy. All right, so we at least have a full pair now in Europia and Froggy. So let's go ahead and put those two up. Who is this one? I don't remember who this guy was. Oh, that was the dark type gym leader. Right. I mean, we could fight him now. All right, let's do that right now. Actually, I probably should go get more Pokemon if I can. I could do that with Froggy no problem, though. I just want to go ahead and see if there's anybody else. That's the... I don't remember. Um, This is the grass guy. This is Cadence. I think. Oh my god, you gotta rematch all the gym leaders. This is actually ridiculous. Alright, let's switch this button. I'm not sure what that one did either. That probably released the switch. If you, if I have my guess here, I'm pretty sure that's what that did. I'm just gonna go all the way back and jump over this and then go pull that switch. Hopefully it'll let me pull it. Yes! It's like I've played the game before. I'm just good at stuff. I'm, I'm not bad at video games. Who's this? Turret! Alright, so we've got two full pairs. I, f I love it how Denim and Sweet Baby, the two people we were going to use for this gym, are the last two that we're going to find. But, I mean, I'm going to fight Cadence first. Because I'm pretty sure this is Cadence. So I'm going to do that with Clap Clap and Turret. Wow, this is so cool. Let's do it. You! Every time a gym leader loses, a bit of respect goes straight down the drain. I'm going to get you back this time with everything I've got. Time for a rematch versus the seventh gym leader of the Naljo region and Pokemon Prism versus Cadence. And it's time to rock out with the sound type gym leader. I can't. I've lost all dignity. All right, here we go. Cadence is going to rematch me with her Loudred. Sound normal type, level 50. Let's go clap clap. All right. Let's do this. Return. I still haven't turned on battle animations. I know I'm going to do it afterwards. I promise. All right, Clap Clap's down. Not Clap Clap, that would be horrible. Loudred's down. Next up's is Magnezone. All right, Clap Clap, I need you to get back. Magnezone's an electric steel type, and that's level 52. Come on back. I need your help, turret. Let's do this. Earthquake this guy. Bam. Down to sturdy. All right, what are you going to hit me with? Please, not something stupid. All right, try attacks, no problem, unless it burns me. It paralyzed me, which is pretty bad. I'm going to go for it. Okay, that's fine. Good. Fully paralyzed. That's not good. But we do have a full restore. 
Someone needs a full restore on Kurt. Oh god. <laughs> Holy crap. Darn it. Hit it with an earthquake. I'm so shocked right now. This is the coolest gem I have ever seen in my entire life. This would be so cool in a real game. It would be really cool. All right, next up is going to be Exploud. Let's go clap clap. It's time to fight this Exploud again. Normal sound type, I'm guessing. Level 54. Get on back turret. Let's go clap clap. Hit this guy with a return. Bam. Goodbye, Exploud. Great work, clap clap. All right. It's cool because we've done all these gym leaders. But a lot of these gym leaders, we didn't, we don't have the Pokemon that we fought them with anymore. And that's really interesting. Like, look at the Grass-type gym leader. I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. But we haven't, we fought him with Slax, and Slax is no longer here with us. And it's interesting because we're getting to rematch him with an ever-growing team. And I think that's really neat. I really like that a lot. And turret grid level 54 there. Sweet. All right, that's it for Cadence. Yeah, we rocked out again. Oh, it's good. Once again, you've knocked down my gym prestige. Oh, man, who is this? We got Denim, our boy, our team leader. Okay, so I'm guessing that the next Pokemon is going to be hidden behind one of these walls. I'm going to do this one just because I know, I'm very certain that I have no problems with this one. So let's put Froggy and Aropia up front. Denim can't fight, obviously. Let's fight this guy. Yeah, let's do it. A battle is a battle, and a defeat is a defeat. I've, re I've reviewed, calculated, and planned brand new strategies to beat your very unique battling style. I will not be defeated again. Alright, here we go. Let's do it! Time to rematch the fourth gym leader of the Pokemon Prism Wedlock Challenge versus Edison, the Dark-type gym leader of the Naljo region and Torinia City. Let's do this! First up is going to be Houndoom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I forgot all about Houndoom. That's no good times. All right, Froggy, you gotta get back quick. I need your help, Aropia. Save your Froggy. All right, Flamethrower is not great. Oh my god, thank you, that was a crit. Okay, let's use a Hyper Potion on Aropia here. Whoo, that's scary. All right, Flamethrower again. As long as it doesn't crit, we should be good. That did a lot of damage, and it burned me, unfortunately. So luckily, we have another full restore. But I'm out of them after this, so I really hope I don't have problems. Okay, good. I have to take whatever it gives me. I know I didn't go for Earthquake, which is 100% accurate. No, I miss! A 10%! 10%! No! Alright, I'm gonna use another healing item, a Hyper Potion on Europia. I've gotta get this thing out of here, or it could be bad. Okay, I'm gonna go for Rock Slide again. Don't crit. Good. Ah, it burned me! And Rock Slide's not going to do very much. That did a lot more than I thought it would. Okay. Hmm. This is not good. This is really, really bad. Europia could die here. This is really, really close. I don't know how I'm going to survive this one. I'm out of full restores. I'm going to use a Max Potion on Europia. This is going to be cutting it. I'm not going to make it. I have to let Aropia die. Man, Aropia, because of I led with Froggy. I missed with Rock Slide. And then I got burned. No. All right, Froggy, we got to do this. I should be able to outspeed it. Yeah, Bug Buzz will take it out. And it did allow Aropia to go on. Well, Froggy to go on. And I have to thank Aropia for that. Oh, man. Next up is going to be Umbreon, which we should be okay with. The one guy I felt comfortable with got vengeance on me. And I just didn't... I didn't expect that. Umbreon's tanky, so I knew it was gonna... Wow, it put up a substitute. That's strange. Alright, we can break that sub, and we can take it down. Oh yeah, Bug Buzz bypasses substitute. That's interesting, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. I think. I don't know why it would've went down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure B Bug Buzz does, just like Hyper Voice. I don't remember what his other Pokemon was. It is a Weavile. Uh-oh. Oh, thank God it went for Agility. Froggy, you gotta take it out. Yeah! Oh, man. Froggy saved himself big there. Holy crap. Yeah, that's nuts. Dang it. I can't believe I lost somebody because of that. Who is this? This is the gym leader. I am not ready for him. I would like to fight everybody, but does not, does everybody not come back? I don't know. 
but I do have to go get my other Pokemon, so I can't, I don't know if I can leave, because if I leave, will I have to fight everybody all over again? I don't like that at all. I need to just keep pushing, so Froggy's going to be a lone wolf for now, so Clap Clap and Turret have to do this, but this is the grass type gym leader, so Turret should be good to do it. I mean, I know he's going to have, like, actually, you know what, I am going to leave. I can't leave, can I? Will I have to do everything all over again? Guys, I'm going to do something that's a little bit different than I would like to do. I'm going to save my game. I'm going to leave, and then I'm going to come back in and see if I'll have to redo everything. Because if that's the case, I don't want to do that. This game's blind. I don't know how it works, and I don't want to be put in a dumb situation and have a dead Pokemon after all of that and have to redo it anyways. So just give me one second. I want to test this out. All right, guys, so I did test that out. I would have to redo everything, and if that was the case, Aropia would have died for nothing. So I don't want to do that. I am going to push forward. I would like to finish this out, and Aropia and Clap Clap weren't going to be used anyways. So well, Aropia and Froggy weren't going to be used anyways. So hopefully I don't. Re re hopefully I don't regret the decision. Decision. This was really. A, this was a really cool gym until all that happened. I'm gonna hope that Turret and Clap Clap can fight this guy, Ringy, I believe. Let's talk to him. Greetings. It's been a while. I can tell by the way the world vibrates around you that you and your Pokemon have grown so much stronger because of your unique bond. Let's test that bond properly. Time to rematch the second gym leader of the Pokemon Prism Wedlock Challenge versus Ringy, the grass-type gym leader of Heath Village in the Naljo region. Let's do this. First up is going to be Ludi Colo. Perfect. All right, Ludicolo is a grass water type, level 49, and Turret is up front. All right, Poison Jab. I still did not turn on battle animations. Crucify me. So much has gone on, I keep forgetting. I will try so hard to remember after this, I promise. I'm so bad, I know. All right, next up's going to be Venusaur, which frightens me because I don't know what it can do to me. But Turret's still going to be my best bet. I resist Poison and Grass, so I'm not too sure what it'll be able to do. And I'm just going to go for Poison Jab because I know it's neutral damage and it's going to do as much as it can. And it's going for Solar Beam and that's one dead Venusaur. Goodbye. Alright, and his final Pokemon, I don't remember what it is, but hopefully it's something that Turret can handle no problem. And it is, it's a Tangrowth. Alright, here comes Tangrowth. Let's hit it as hard as we can. Yeah, Tangrowth's a Grass type, level 51, and hopefully it'll go down in one hit. Not quite, but we did poison it, which is pretty cool. And this is going for Giga Drain. This guy has nothing he can do to me. Luckily for us, because he is done now. Goodbye, Tangrowth. All right. I'm hoping Sweet Baby's behind this wall and there are no more gym leaders and it was just a couple guys. Well, if we got to fight the rest of them, we got to fight the rest of them. I mean, it makes sense to have to fight all seven, right? Pleasant journeys, my friend. Goodbye, Renji. All right. Yep, here's the final Pokemon. It's Sweet Baby. All right, we fought everybody. We got all of our Pokemon back. I think it's finally time to take on the eighth and final gym leader of the Pokemon Prism Wedlock Challenge. We didn't get to see Brooklyn or the fighting guy. I we, I don't know, I, for, I, don't, I forget a lot of them. It's okay, but we didn't get to see them. Europia is still fainted and we have to push forward like that because it seems that we are trapped inside of here. I can't go by full restores. I can't go by any of that. This could be a problem, but everybody seems to be fully healed up and it's time to take on the eighth and final gym leader of the game, I think. There's nothing I can do now other than talk to the man himself. I'm guessing it's still steel, but I have no idea. Let's do it. <sighs> Welcome, trainer. Because of your bravery shown through my puzzle, I have decided to humbly accept your challenge at last. I am Bruce. The proud steel type gym leader of Naljo. Yeah, I did. No way. That's really good. All right. The defense capabilities of Steel Pokemon can never be matched. Are you ready? Time for the eighth and final gym leader of the Pokemon Prism Wedlock Challenge versus Bruce, the Man of Steel of the Naljo region and Spurge City. Let's do this. First up, it's going to be Mawile. All right. I don't know how sound does against Fairy, but Sweet Baby's in command. And I still did not remember to turn on battle animations. 
I apologize. I really do. Forgive me, please. I know people don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm just in the moment. And this is so much going on right now. You gotta understand I did not mean to do that. And I haven't saved for a while since I cut the last time. And I'm not going to redo all of that again. I apologize. But first up is Mawile. It's a fairy steel type. And I'm going to hope that sound is super effective against steel. Piper voice. It is. Nice work, sweet baby. Mowing down that Mawile. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Next up is going to be Magneton. Um, uh, I'm scared. <laughs> No way. Try is super effective against Sweet Baby, and Electric super effective against Denim. This could go really bad. Hyper Voice isn't super effective, but it did knock it down to one. It is. Okay. Iron Defense. The Magneton always derp. Yeah. Goodbye, Magneton. Electric Steel type, level 53. All right. His next Pokemon is going to be a Magnezone. Oh, man. I'm in the zone. Magnezone. Next up, Electric Steel type, and it's level 55. Whoa, I was told wrong about the level limit here, and I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Hyper Voice it! Not enough to take it down to sturdy, but it doesn't matter. We gotta... <gasps> no, what? How? Oh, electric is super effective against snow? Denim, 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 denim's gonna die. Oh my god. Sweet baby's dead too. And Denim is all alone. Our leader at the very end of the game. The Pokemon that means more than anybody on this team might not make it out. And because... Oh, I caught Aqua Jet. Oh, oh, oh. He's healing. No, Denim's gonna die. Denim. It's gonna be all over. There has to be a way out. There's always a way. Venom! Oh my god! There was nothing I could have done! Our entire team is being ripped apart at this very gym. And we're nowhere near out yet. Turret, I need you to save this fight for us! Oh my god, Denim. It's been a long run, and he just couldn't finish it out. And Agron, that's fine with me. All right, next up's Agron. It's a rock steel type, and it's going to be level 52. Hit it with an earthquake turret. That still didn't take it out. That's What is that? That's weird. That just made it a steel type. That's strange. That's, that's fine with me, I suppose. Okay, turret grid level 55. And his final Pokemon is a Metagross. Are you kidding me? Holy crap! Metagross is level 54. Steel Psychic type. Crunch it. I should have led with turret. It's my fault. It's my fault Denim's dead. I just... Never, I don't know what I was thinking. Electric, super effective. I just never dreamed that he would have a Magnezone and a Magneton. I don't know why. <sighs> We've earned the opportunity to compete in the Region League. But Denim won't be there with us. And we get the Naljo badge. And TM43, which I'm going to guess is Metal Gurry. I have no clue. Flash Cannon. All right.
Wow. A massacre in that gym. Denim and Sweet Baby. Oh, Anaeropia. Denim. Who would have thought this entire journey we had Denim? We even came past here with him in our party. Who would have thought that he would have died in this last gym? I, I could have went for Ice Punch. And I thought about it. But I really I thought Surf might have killed it. I really did. And I could have probably beat the aggro on Metagross. Healing wouldn't have done anything. Thunderbolt's 100 percent accurate. There was nothing I could have done. And then there were there were three. Man, that's a really rough one. That one hits really hard. I cared about Denim so much, I was having dreams that he was dying. And he's actually gone now. At the very end of the game, Denim is no longer here with us. Along with Aropia and Sweet Baby. Who you didn't get to know Sweet Baby that much, but it was really fun to get to use a Chimeco. Even if it did end up dying because of its new type. So, with that being said, it's time to say goodbye to Aropia, Sweet Baby, and Denim, who all fell in the 8th and final gym. Start off with a moment of silence for Aropia. Goodbye, Aropia. Have a moment of silence for Sweet Baby the Chimeco. Goodbye, Sweet Baby. And let's say goodbye to Denim, our team leader, our one hope on this team. A throw growling in the background. Oh, man. Down on the Azumarill. So hard to say this, I really didn't think it'd come to this, but goodbye, Denim. And then there were three remaining. There are only three Pokemon on our team, and the three that we add at this point won't have very much time to be known, because it's time for the Naljo League coming up. Maybe there's a victory road, or maybe it's like Generation 2. And there isn't a victory road, and it's just a long road with no trainers, and then our rival, I really have no idea. But I do have to choose three new Pokemon to add to the team. And this decision could be huge. I need a lot of type coverage, because I don't know the types of the Elite Four. I'm going to do a lot of guessing, and I'm going to think, what types haven't we seen? I'm guessing the champion might be our rival. I really don't know. So I'm going to put a lot of thought into this one. And I'll come at you guys in the next episode with our three new additions. But with that being said, this is going to be it for the episode. And if you enjoyed the episode, regardless of what happened, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon Wedlocks, like Pokemon Prism, feel free to subscribe. And Froggy Turt and Clap Clap and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.